Hi Ellie, my name is Carrie and I just wanted to make a quick video response to you because my heart, and I speak on behalf of everyone on YouTube, our hearts so go out to you in this hard time that you're facing. I have dealt with infertility now for just under two and a half years, so I know where you've been. And first of all, I just want to say how courageous you are. You are such a huge inspiration to us. First for documenting your infertility journey and then getting pregnant with your adorable son. Then sharing this pregnancy with us. We were all so incredibly surprised, obviously, because what you've been going through. And then to get the news today that you are concerned that you're gonna lose this precious little child that you already love so much our hearts just go out to you so thank you for sharing with us I decided to make this response video because today I just related so much to your story a little over three years ago now I was in my doctor's office and I had seen a positive pregnancy test and I was blown away because I've never had even remotely regular cycles and I didn't expect to get pregnant. It took 10 months for us to get pregnant and I, I wasn't expecting that. I had no idea how pregnant I was. According to my cycles, I was 22 weeks pregnant and I knew that wasn't the case. So it was a huge surprise. I told my doctor about it and they actually did end up doing an ultrasound but all they saw was just this little tiny blip. And I'm sure at the time she said, maybe it's just too early and maybe she was hopeful, but the only words I heard were blighted ovum. And she told me to essentially expect a miscarriage. And that just shocked me and completely broke me. I remember keeping a straight face in the doctor's office. I was there alone because my husband was working and I got in the car and I just drove and I ended up in a Target parking lot, of course. And I just sat there and I cried and I couldn't contain myself. Like this was my baby and I was gonna lose it before I even looked into its eyes. And my heart was just broken. And so I know where you've been. We were just in the middle of moving and so I couldn't get the blood test. We were leaving the next day to visit my husband's family and then we were gonna be back a week later and then we were moving a thousand miles away. So I wasn't able to get the blood test. So basically for a month, I was just waiting for this impending miscarriage. But in that time, the Lord really taught me to cling to Hebrews 11. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things unseen. I so relate to Missy Lanning's You Are a Mother videos because she talks about how you're a mother because it's in your heart. And you know, just like you said on the vlog today, that you are a mother. You are holding this child in your womb and you are doing your absolute best to take care of this baby. And that's such a huge blessing. So that's just my encouragement to cling to Hebrews 11, to cling to your husband, cling to your friends, cling to the Lord and everything will end up working out well. Now, my pregnancy did end in a very vivacious two and a half year old who is running inside right now. I, I would just so encourage you not to dwell on what could happen because anything could happen to any of us and there's nothing that we can do to change that. But just know that everything is gonna be okay and that you are such a wonderful mother and just keep doing what you're doing. We love you, Ellie. We're so thankful for everything that you shared with us and we so look forward to hearing your happy ending with this baby and the future babies that you're totally gonna conceive on your own. Thanks for watching, Ellie. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you later. Bye.